Hey crafter, do you own a Cricut? Yep, this thing right here. Did you know that you can make some serious money by selling crafts with a Cricut? Well, the answer is yes, and I'm here to tell you why. So if you're interested, keep watching. Hello everyone, and welcome back to another video with Amy Makes That. Today's video is an updated version of how to start a craft business with your Cricut in 2022. I made a video in 2020, almost two years ago, of this exact video, and a lot has changed since then. I also have a lot more advice, talk much slower, I just am not as cringy back then. I'm going to refer that video to you in the card right here because I do include a lot of helpful tips and resources. So if you're interested in Cricut content, craft business tips, and more, please give this video a thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel. I am so lucky and thankful to say that this is my job and I love teaching you all the things that I wish I knew when I was starting out with my Cricut. And if you're not so much a visual person and you want to read on how to start a craft business, I made a blog post on my website that I will post in the video description below. Now let's get into the video. So the first tip I have for you to start a successful craft business with your Cricut in 2022, that's a mouthful, is to know what to sell. Now, lucky for you, I have a freebie that you can download and it covers all of the information that you need to know about niches. I give five examples of the best niches in the craft business world. So I will put that link in the video description because it is a very useful resource for you, especially if you have no idea what you wanna sell. As crafters, we kind of like to make everything and anything because we're just so excited to use our Cricut but I really go into further detail on this freebie as to why a niche is so important. A niche is a category that focuses on a specific demographic or interest and I have a lovely equation that you can use to discover what your niche should be and that equation is choose a product that you love making generally and that you can see yourself making for a very long time plus a product that is in high demand. This will equal a very successful business for you, I promise you. So a great example that I can use in this situation is weddings. Now the wedding niche is very broad, so you can always niche down to that. For example, you can do bridal decor or you could niche it down to bachelor and bachelorette parties. That's a niche in itself and it is very popular. If you're struggling to find a niche, I highly suggest the wedding industry because for 2022, we are set to have literally the most weddings since 1984 and that is just insane to me. So ultimately, it's really important to know what to sell. That way you can figure out what kind of products you're going to make, who your target audience is, all of that good stuff. The second tip to start a craft business in 2022 is knowing where to sell. This means to choose a platform where you are going to promote your products on. Now my naive little self didn't see what was going to come to her and if you have no idea what I'm talking about, I have this lovely video right here for you to check out. I previously was selling on a third party website and unfortunately the risk that you take with selling products on a website that you don't own is that they're holding you by a string. You do something wrong that they don't like in their policies, you're out and now you're left with zip. I didn't want to get into too much detail with this topic because I'm looking to do another video on the best platforms that you can choose. Please make sure that you're looking into the platforms that you're selling on and choose which one is right for you. The third tip to start a Cricut craft business is all about the legal terms. You need to comply with everything legally with your business. That includes copyright laws, trademark laws, and you're not selling anything that's illegal. I also have a completely separate video on how to register your craft business legally. I have a ton of useful resources in that video talking about copyright um, and also registering your business online. So if you are interested in that video, I will put the card right here for you to check out. It's so crucial to read up on your copyright laws because you don't want to get random shut down because you failed to do the research. The fourth tip I have to start a craft business with your Cricut in 2022 is all about marketing. This is my favorite part. <laughs> if you're selling a product, you should know how to market that product, how to sell it, share it with anyone and everyone you know. Obviously, you can do word of mouth and tell your friends and family through face-to-face, -face, text message, etc. But you should have at least one social media platform where you are promoting your products on or one kind of platform in general. This can mean running advertisements, social media, email lists, 
or craft fairs. Those are all great marketing tools that you can apply to your business. Speaking of email newsletters, I just launched an email list. So when you visit my website, you will see a little pop-up that says, let's be friends, and you will get all the exclusive tea on crafting tips, giveaways. You'll be the first to know everything before social media. And when you sign up, you get my free niche guide. So you're welcome. <laughs> Having something like an email list is so beneficial for any business owner. Doesn't matter if you're a clothing business, you're a content creator, you're a small business owner, every business has an email newsletter. And the last tip I have to start a successful craft business with your Cricut in 2022 is to beat yourself and have fun. It will feel stressful, overwhelming when you are first starting out and trying to navigate the life of becoming a business owner, especially because it's something that you're unfamiliar with. But that is how we grow. Change is good. Rome wasn't built in a day. You're not going to build a successful business overnight. And also it is so important to be yourself. And I know that sounds cliche, but I say that because you are you. No one else has the same voice, style, hands as you, you know, we all create differently and add our own spin to our businesses. If you're looking to start a business, don't copy someone's business name. Don't copy someone's website or concept. It is great to get inspiration, do not get me wrong, but if I had the choice to fit in with everyone else and to stand out and become something new and bigger and brighter, I'm gonna go with the second choice, and I hope you would too. Business names are trademarked, so you have to be really careful. Taking and stealing anyone else's work is just wrong. Please make sure that you are just being genuine, being yourself, complying with the rules, and having fun with all of it. So just remember, the biggest strength that you have is yourself because no one is you. Thank you again, everyone, so much for watching today's video. Let me know what you thought of it in the comment section below. Let me know what you think of this new little background. It was time. Please don't forget to visit my website for all of the other resources that I have on there, including my free niche guide. And follow my social media accounts to keep up with my life, see some behind the scenes, and just keep up with every day as Amy. <laughs> Thank you again for watching today's video, and I will see you all in the next one. Bye. You got those. Eyes in your head, you know it You got me dancing in my bed, so let me show it You are exactly what I want, kinda cool and